Welcome to the Peptide Podcast. Today we're diving into a peptide that I haven't talked about before, Pinealon, which is a bioregulatory peptide with promising results in things like brain health, cognition, and aging. We're going to cover what it is, how it works, its benefits, where it came from, and potential side effects, and how to stack it with other peptides like Epitalon. So let's start with the basics. What are bioregulator peptides? Bioregulator peptides are short chains of amino acids, usually just two to four amino amino acids in length that act as gene switches. Think of them sort of as precision tools your body uses to fine tune organ and tissue function at the cellular level. Now, these peptides were originally discovered by Russian researchers in the 70s and 80s as part of their military and space medicine programs with the goal to help their soldiers and cosmonauts stay biologically resilient in pretty extreme conditions. So what exactly is pinealon? Pinealon is a tripeptide, which is made of three amino acids, glutamic acid, aspartic acid, and arginine. It's also a synthetic analog of peptides from the pineal gland, which helps regulate sleep-wake cycles and circadian rhythm. Research suggests it may help regulate gene expression in neurons and protect the brain from things like oxidative stress, which is a major factor in aging and neurodegeneration. So how exactly does pinealon work? Pinealon appears across the blood-brain barrier and interact with the central nervous system. Here, it influences things like gene expression, supports neuronal metabolism, reduces oxidative stress, and even promotes cellular repair, all of which are key functions for really protecting the aging brain. So what can pinealin do for you? What are its actual benefits? Pinealin may improve cognitive function and mental clarity. It can also help regulate sleep patterns and reduce oxidative stress in brain cells. It may even support a calm and balanced nervous system and slow age-related brain degeneration. It even may enhance focus and potentially mood regulation. Now, most of the research has been done in animal models and older humans, but the results are really promising. So just keep this in mind. Now that we've covered what pinealin is and its potential benefits, let's talk safety. While studies so far show a strong safety profile with minimal side effects at low doses, research is still limited outside of Russia and parts of Eastern Europe. So if you're considering it, medical guidance is strongly recommended and always remember to use only trusted vendors or clinicians when sourcing your pinealin. Potential side effects, although rare, might include things like mild headache, temporary fatigue, and even sleep disturbances, especially if it's dosed at the wrong time. This brings me to my next point. When it comes to actually getting your hands on Pinealon, it's a bit of a challenge. It is available in oral capsule form, but those are pretty hard to find, and there's not a lot of transparency around who's actually making these capsules or how well the oral form is absorbed once you consume it. There are also a few online peptide sources that offer Pinealon as an injectable, but again, sourcing is tricky. I've personally yet to find a verified, reputable supplier that I'd feel 100% confident confident recommending. So really until there's better regulation or even more mainstream availability, it's one of those compounds where you really need to proceed with caution. Okay, so we've explored what pinealon does on its own, but what about combining it with other peptides? This is where things get interesting. Peptide stacking has become more popular, especially for those looking to optimize cognitive function, longevity, or even recovery. So let's talk about how pinealon might work in synergy with other peptides. One of the most common stacks involves combining pinealon with another well-known peptide called epitalon. Now we've talked about epitalon before, but just to refresh your memory, it's also derived from the pineal gland and is known for its anti-aging effects. Epitalon helps regulate melatonin secretion, lengthens telomeres, and boosts antioxidant defenses. Together, pinealon and epitalon form a sort of neuroendocrine immune stack that may enhance longevity, sharpen your cognition, even normalize sleep and support mood and stress resilience. Other possible stacks would include pinealon along with cerebrolysin for neuroregeneration, pinealon along with CMAX for focus and anxiety, and pinealon along with thymolin for immune and systemic anti-aging. The most common pinealon dosing protocol involves injecting two milligrams per day for 10 days, followed by a rest period. Now, this cycle can be repeated two to three times per year, which typically means you're just using pinealon for a total of about 30 days annually. But also keep in mind that there's no universally accepted dosage protocol for pinealon, and the dosage does vary depending on what dosage form you're taking. As I mentioned, there is an oral capsule that's available, but the dosage that I just provided is for the subcutaneous injection. 
Thanks again for listening to the Peptide Podcast. If you enjoyed the show and want to support what we do, head on over to our partners page. Here you'll find some pretty amazing brands we trust, and by checking them out, you're help keeping the podcast going. And as always, have a happy, healthy week.